Earth. Our cradle of existence is a minuscule speck of blue suspended in the vastness of the cosmic ocean. Within its confines reside the memories of all those who have ever lived, every soul you've known, and every tale ever woven. It is here that our odyssey commences, but as we widen our perspective beyond the veil of our atmosphere, traversing past the moon, surpassing the familiar planets and their guiding star, we embark upon an odyssey, a quest to fathom the true extent of our cosmos. Departing the embrace of Earth, our initial waypoint on this cosmic pilgrimage is the moon a mere 384,000 kilometers distant, a span so immense that were you to drive your car at a steady pace of 100 kilometers per hour, it would consume over 160 days to arrive. From this lunar vantage, Earth emerges as a delicate orb of cerulean and emerald, cradled amidst the abyss of space, a spectacle that humbles our very existence. This is Earth as beheld from the moon. Continuing our outward voyage, our next milestone is the Sun, situated approximately one astronomical unit away from Earth. This unit, about 150 million kilometers in length, serves as the yardstick for measurements within our solar domain. Consider this, light, racing at a staggering velocity of 300,000 kilometers per second, requires a span of 8 minutes and 20 seconds to traverse from the Sun to the Earth. If one were to traverse this expanse aboard a commercial jet cruising at 900 kilometers per hour, it would demand almost 19 years. Such immense distances serve as poignant reminders of the expanse of space, even within the confines of our solar system. The Sun, a fiery titan, bestows life-saving energy upon our world from this formidable remove. Venturing beyond the bounds of our planetary abode and its solar cohort, our sights are set upon Mars, our enigmatic crimson neighbor. Mars, at its nearest approach to Earth, lies some 54.6 million kilometers distant. Yet this expanse converge into 401 million kilometers when the two planets sit on opposite sides of the Sun. To provide perspective, a journey to Mars at the velocity of a commercial jet would demand over 50 years. This expansive gulf between Earth and Mars has proven a formidable hurdle for celestial exploration. The rovers and probes dispatched to the ruddy planet embark upon a voyage that is not merely distant but fraught with complexities owing to the ever-shifting distances and orbital mechanics. As we press onward to the outermost fringes of our solar dominion, we encounter Neptune, this distant glacial giant reclining some 4.5 billion kilometers from Earth. Neptune marks the boundary of our solar vicinity. Sunlight coursing across the void of space requires a span of about 4 hours and 15 minutes to reach Neptune from the Sun. This staggering expanse underscores the enormity of our solar system. Launched in 1977, Voyager 1 epitomizes humanity's boundless curiosity and our yearning to probe beyond known frontiers. Presently, Voyager 1 has traversed over four decades, covering an astonishing expanse of more than 22 billion kilometers from Earth. It stands as the farthest human-crafted object from our world, a silent voyager amidst the cosmic expanse. In 1990, at the suggestion of the eminent astronomer Carl Sagan, Voyager 1 swiveled its camera back toward Earth for a final snapshot. This resulted in the iconic pale blue dot image. At a distance of approximately 6 billion kilometers from Earth, our world appeared as a faint, diminutive dot in the immensity of space. Sagan poetically pondered this image, emphasizing our duty to cherish and safeguard our sole abode a minuscule speck in the vast universe. Nestled at the utmost outskirts of our solar realm lies the Oort Cloud, an extensive theoretical ensemble of icy bodies. This distant congregation is postulated to extend up to a staggering 100,000 astronomical units from the Sun, an expanse of about 1.9 light years, a distance so vast that it teeters upon the verge of interstellar expanse. 
Scientists delineate the border of interstellar space known as the heliopause, where the solar wind of the sun is halted by the interstellar medium. Here, the dominion of our sun ceases and the boundless realm of interstellar expanse commences. The Oort cloud stands as the ultimate frontier of our solar domain, a borderland where the sway of the sun wanes and the cosmic journey into the galaxy truly unfolds. As we venture beyond the confines of our solar expanse, our attention turns to Alpha Centauri, the nearest stellar system to our Sun residing some 41.3 trillion kilometers distant. This span equates to over 276,000 astronomical units. At such colossal removes, the astronomical unit, so convenient within our solar confines, begins to lose its practicality. Hence, astronomers resort to the light year, the expanse light traverses in one year, for interstellar gauges. Alpha Centauri lies approximately 4.4 light years distant from us. Given our contemporary spacefaring technology, a voyage to Alpha Centauri borders on the unimaginable. For instance, the Voyager spacecraft journeying at a velocity of about 17 kilometers per second would demand over 70,000 years to arrive at this neighboring stellar system. This vast distance underscores the expansiveness of space that separates the stars and underscores the tribulations of interstellar travel. Our journey now leads us to the grandeur of our galactic home, the Milky Way. Encompassing about 100,000 light years in breadth, this sprawling spiral galaxy hosts hundreds of billions of stars, each potentially harboring its own retinue of planets. Within this vast expanse lies a diminutive sphere known as the Human Radio Bubble, stretching about 100 light years from Earth. This bubble denotes the farthest reach of human influence in the cosmos the propagation of our radio and television broadcasts into space. Beyond this sphere, it's as though humanity never existed. Any civilizations dwelling in the vast bulk of our galaxy would remain oblivious to our presence, as our signals have yet to reach them. The magnitude of the Milky Way is such that our entire recorded history is but a whisper in the cosmic gale, undetectable beyond this modest bubble. Exiting the confines of the Milky Way, we ingress the immense, nearly unfathomable expanse of intergalactic space. Here, galaxies drift in the cosmic sea, sundered by staggering distances. Our galaxy, repository of our entire narrative, is but a diminutive speck amidst many, a lone tale in the grand celestial library. As we widen our cosmic gaze beyond the local cluster, we encounter the monumental Virgo Supercluster, a vast amalgamation of galactic clusters and groups encompassing our own local group. Enveloping a domain of about 110 million light years in breadth, or 33 megaparsecs, the Virgo Supercluster stands as a colossal structure in the cosmos hosting thousands of galaxies from at least 100 galaxy clusters and groups, each adorned with its own multitude of stars and planets. As we progress outward from the Virgo supercluster, we arrive at an even more astounding cosmic edifice, the Laniakea supercluster. This vast assemblage of galaxies inclusive of the Virgo supercluster spans over 500 million light years and serves as our cosmic abode on a monumental scale. Laniakea, signifying immense heaven in Hawaiian, truly lives up to its appellation, containing the equivalent mass of 100 million billion suns. Laniakea stands as a gravitational marvel, with galaxy clusters, superclusters, and myriad celestial bodies bound in a cosmic ballet of attraction and motion. At the core of Laniakea rests the Great Attractor, a mysterious realm of space exerting immense gravitational force on the galaxies within this supercluster. In this expansive realm, our Milky Way, the entire local group, and even the Virgo supercluster are mere minuscule constituents of this mammoth structure. Laniakea furnishes a profound context for our existence. 
Within this vast supercluster, we partake in something far more expansive and magnificent than we can fully grasp. As we approach the boundaries of our cosmic expedition, we encounter the confines of the observable universe, an astronomical marvel spanning about 93 billion light years in breadth. This elicits a captivating inquiry. If the universe is merely 13.8 billion years old, how can it be so expansive? The answer lies in the nature of cosmic expansion. Since the Big Bang, the universe has been expanding, stretching space and augmenting distances between celestial entities. But what lies beyond the observable universe? This remains one of cosmology's greatest enigmas. Certain regions of space are receding from us at velocities surpassing the speed of light, rendering them eternally beyond our gaze. Consequently, the true expanse of the entire universe remains obscured and potentially infinite. The observable universe, vast though it may be, might only represent a fraction of the cosmic expanse. We are left with the humbling realization that there may always exist realms of space, entire galaxies, and marvels that we shall never behold as they recede endlessly into the depths of the ever-expanding universe.